Yes. So today I'm going to show you how to edit your profile at our course. So you go just here and go to settings. It has an icon like on every 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 side. And the first thing you do, you can see the language here. Uh, there are lots of languages to use the platform in the chart. Uh, look, there's Russian, Arabic, and, but I recommend you, of course, to use English because it's the language you're going to work on. Update, don't forget to update to see the information you have changed. The next is thing that is very important is your email okay time zone yeah uh, convert your time zone so that you will have all the timings in correct time uh, and then email okay uh, please click allow everyone to see because we need to communicate with you, we need to write to you. Also, it's important to add your uh, social net accounts. All the notifications are coming to your email automatically, but you can change it. Um, you can choose if you want it to be sent to you or not, and how often. Okay, then we go to my profile. You need to change your picture. Don't forget to click edit. Uh, because it's very important to see each other that will make our course more pleasant Okay, uh, the next thing you're doing you can choose your location where you are And of course again again and again uh, Connect us please to your social nets And here you need to write short bill It's something like you have done already in the discussion board for welcome discussion but you can add here some more information about your job, um, your town, your country, your family, whatever you want us to know about yourself. Okay, now analytics. What are they? There are some statistics about the course. Uh, now it's zero because it's um, a site of mine uh, where I am like a student. Uh, and the tasks are done, but your marks will be appeared here as well. Okay, now look at the bell. Bell are notifications, like in most of the sites you have already worked before, and you can just mark all as read to do fast time. And the other thing I want to show you, it's a calendar. Okay, here you have already some information that is saved for you automatically from the course information. You have your deadlines, you have your webinar appointments, and what is very interesting, you can add your own new event. If you want, for example, to uh, do a task at a particular day, or whatever you want to save, you can you can do it here. And very good that you can also connect this calendar to any of your calendar that you use uh, on your laptop, on your computer, on your mobile. I find it very useful. I've done it already for my Google account. And I'm very happy. So I can see your deadlines on my phone, and you can't run away from them. 